Weather Central, which is a company we most recently bought out of Madison, Wisconsin, is really focused on um, B2B. So they take hail information and they do a fantastic job of forecasting the path of hail. And you might say to yourself, well, who really cares about hail? And at the end of the day, the insurance companies really care about hail, right? So the more that they can basically let people know that hail's coming and to put the car in the garage before the hail hits the car, means that they're gonna to have to file, um, fill less claims, which means that they save money. In fact, uh, it was in quarterly earnings, one of the insurance companies most recently said 22 times how much the weather impacted their business and their earnings for the quarter, right? So um, where we're focused is correlating the data that we get in terms of what's happening with the weather, the ability to forecast that, and we're plugging it into the business side of companies, for example, insurance, which I just gave. And you know, where I've been focused is that bridge between what happens in the business units and the people that are worried about, you know, what do we do with hail, what do we do with floods, what do we do with other different um, products that they're selling, and the marketing teams. And so what I've been asking when I go to these meetings and our B2B team is selling data, is that my team comes along and then I ask the marketers to bring their agency and you know the CMO and we basically sit down and say what's the impact of data on the business how are you buying and leveraging our hail data or our wind data in fact the last meeting I was in we had a lot of questions around the quality of our wind data around mountains because it really does matter to uh, these companies and, and what they buy and they also ask questions around how real time is it am I going to get the data once a week on hail or can I get it hourly and, and in real time and so those are the questions we're being asked. And with, when you have the marketing people in the room, you look over and you hear what the business side needs and what they want. And then you ask the marketing folks how they're leveraging that. And so that's, um, that's what's become really interesting about my job and my role is we're connecting our professional services group with the marketing team. And when you have a media platform that reaches 160 million people, you can bring it to life. So data and analytics are really interesting in a spreadsheet and for PowerPoint presentations, but they're even more interesting when you can connect it to marketing. And so the next time that that CEO has to go out and give earnings, what would be fantastic is you can talk about the impact of the weather and what their marketing team did to basically make it a more profitable quarter. And so that's the mission that we're, we're on right now.